Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Well, Jerry, what are you doing here in the pad room? You've been right here in the same spot since the show started. Oh, I, I thought I'd watch the show while I'm waiting for Bunk. I see. Golly, Jason, your act was sure swell today. Well, I'm glad you like it. But that remark would lead me to believe that my act wasn't always swell. Oh, I, I didn't mean it that way. I, I mean it seemed more exciting. <laughs> I know what you mean, Jerry. And you're right. Sometimes the cats are a little more unruly, act up and roar more. And then I have to work harder, and it puts on a lot more thrill in the show. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Sure you did. But you didn't tell me why you were waiting for bumps. You two got a business deal on? Uh-huh. We're going to go back over to the hospital to see my Uncle Dan. Oh, so that's it. I'm glad you found your uncle. I can guess how you felt when you found that Decker was Dan Dugan. Yeah. Gee, isn't it funny? There I was in the wagon with him all the time, and... I didn't even know Deck was my uncle. Funny, too, that he didn't recognize the name Dugan. It sure must be awful to lose your memory like that. Uh-huh. And now he doesn't remember a thing about ever being with the circus. The last thing he remembers is years ago when he got back from a trip to South America. Well, that's the way it is with amnesia. It's a bad sickness, Jerry. I sure hope I never get it. Well, you just have to watch your step. You know it's usually caused by a blow in the head or a fall. And that's the only way you can get over it, too, huh? Well, as a rule, it takes another blow in the head to bring back the memory. Well, that's most likely what happened to your uncle. When he fell off the train, although the fall made him unconscious, the bump was great enough to bring his mind around okay. Look, here comes Mr. Randall. Mm, and in a hurry, too. Say, uh, Jason, uh, it's you with your act yet? Why, yes, just came off a minute ago. What's the trouble, Mr. Randall? Oh, hello, Jerry. Hello, Mr. Randall. Well, I, I just got a phone call from the chief of detectives, and they've got Lorenz. What? Uh, they picked him up a little in a little town about 100 miles from here early this morning, and they brought him here by airplane. Oh, golly, that's... Well, I mean... Well, maybe now we can get the whole story and Decker... I mean, Uncle Dan won't be to blame for the robbery. Uh, let's hope so, Jerry. Jason, I, I've got to go right down to the police station. You want to come along? You bet I do. I want to come too, Mr. Randall. Oh, no, Jerry. You stay in the lot. Uh, Jason will tell you all about it when he gets back. But, Mr. Randall, I... Well, I don't want my Uncle Dan to take the blame. Golly, I, I just found him and now I... Well, can't we take him along? He won't be in the way. Well, I guess you are a little concerned now that Decker is your Uncle Dan. All right. <laughs> Come along, Jerry, but let's hurry. Oh, thanks, Mr. Randall. I guess I'd better change out of this uniform. It'll only take a minute. No, never mind that, Jason. You can, you can come the way you are. Nobody will see you. We'll take a cab. Uh, there's usually one at the main gate. What did the policeman say about Lorenz? Well, I didn't get much over the phone, but it, it seems that Lorenz was buying a new suit of clothes in a little clothing store. And when he uh, went to pay for the suit, he flashed a big roll of bills, and the clerk grew suspicious. Well, that clerk was mighty alert, all right. Mm. And it seems Lorenz wanted to wear the new suit, and... While he was changing, the uh, clerk called the police and then nabbed him. There's a taxi, Jason. A taxi? Taxi. Oh, oh okay. He, he got the signal. Well, I hope that police station isn't far. Taxi? Uh, police headquarters driver, Central Station. Yes. Well, 
Hello, Mr. Randall and Jason. Hello, Captain. Uh, this is Jerry Dugan, Captain. Oh, hello, young man. Hello. Won't you sit down? Oh, Thank you. Thanks. Huh. Did you get any more information out of Lorenz? No, I didn't, Mr. Randall. I thought I'd wait until you got here to question him further. Hey, excuse me, I'll send for him now. Uh, have that man Lorenz in the felony ward sent into my office. Yeah, I hope we can get something out of him. Uh, I think we will, Mr. Randall. We have a couple of methods that seem to work out quite well. Mm. I hope we can get a full confession from Lorenz and some kind of a statement that will clear Decker, or rather, Dan Dugan. Uh, this boy Jerry here is his nephew, and, well, he thinks pretty much of his uncle and doesn't like the idea of having him connected with this robbery. Mm, pretty loyal, aren't you, son? Uncle Dan is my only relative, and we've been looking for him for so long, and... Oh, now... I see. You, uh, you didn't know he was your uncle while he was working in the circus with you, huh? No, sir. I, I just found out when we went to the hospital. Uh-huh. Here's Lorenz, Captain. Oh, fine. Uh, stay right here with him, will you, Fred? All right, sit down, Lorenz. Well, Lorenz... Looks like you got yourself in a pretty fine mess. Well, it is my affair. What is it to you? You got your money back, didn't you? Ah, oh, now, Lorenz, that attitude isn't going to get you anywhere. Mr. Randall wants to ask you some questions. If you're smart, you'll answer them. Well, I am not smart, but I wouldn't be here now. So I won't answer any questions. Now, see here, Lorenz. We have several ways of making you talk. It may not be so pleasant. We have to resort to them. Now, let's be sensible. You're already guilty of the robbery, and you're going to have to pay your debt to society, but... If you cooperate a little, you'll find that the law is very fair. And what do you want to know? You've got me. What else? Well, I'd like to know where you first met Decker. What has that got to do with me? Listen, well, Lorenz. All right. I picked him up in a little restaurant about five years ago. Well, he, uh, he planned the robbery, didn't he? Yeah, he planned nothing. How could he plan? He is crazy. Was he crazy when you met him? Yes. Where is he now? I don't know. He got on the train when you did, didn't he? No. He did, too. Well, well... Yes, he did. And where'd he get off? He jumped off. We had a fight. You and... knocked him off. No, no. He wanted half of the money and you had a fight about it. No, he did not want any of the money. What? He wanted to go straight. He did not even want to pull the job in the first place. Come on, Lorenz. Come clean with the whole story. It'll be a lot easier on you. Let's have it from the start now. Well, I will tell you everything if you promise. We to... make no promises, Lorenz, but you might just as well come clean. All right. So I picked up Decker. That's the name I gave him. What do you mean, that's the name you gave him? Uh, he was crazy. He did not know who he was. I told him he was Decker. I told him he was wanted by the police. But I would look after him and he could work for me in my act. Well, go on, Lorenz. I held to that story about the police record and made him do as I wanted. Mm. And he didn't want to do anything crooked? No, uh, he never did. He was always preaching to me. You hear that, Jerry? Uh-huh. Go right ahead, Lorenz. Well, when we were on the train making our getaway, he was telling me how sorry he was for this, this Jason here. Sorry we were planted a gun to make him look guilty. He said he wanted to split up with me and go straight if I only wouldn't turn him into the police. And then what happened? Then I told him the truth. I told him he did not have a police record. Never did have. I told him his name was not Decker. Yes? He wanted to know who he was. He did not know. He got mad and was going to hit me. And you hit him first? Yeah. I did, and he fell off the platform of the train. Well, there's the story you wanted, Mr. Randall. Yes. I guess that clears Decker, or Dan Dugan, as you'll be calling him from now on. Then Uncle Dan can go free? Yes, sir, son. As soon as the doctors are through with your uncle, he can walk out of the hospital a free man. Hmm? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, well, Lorenz, uh, it seems that Decker is Jerry's uncle. Dan Dugan, the big game hunter. He's been suffering with amnesia, loss of memory, all these years that you've had him under your thumb. And it might also interest you to know he was picked up on the railroad tracks after you knocked him off the train. He was pretty badly banged up, and it's only a miracle that he's alive today. It's mighty lucky he is alive, too, or uh, I'm afraid it'd go pretty hard with you, Lorenz. All right, Fred, lock him up again. Yes, sir. Come on. Golly, how can a man be as mean as all that? He's a pretty tough customer, all right. Yes, he won't be so tough for the next 15 years or so, though. Well, he'll be too old to ever work in a circus again when he gets out of jail. Yeah, it looks like his life is finished. Well, thank you, Captain. I guess we made Jerry pretty happy. <laughs> how about it, Jerry? Golly, I'll <laughs> say. Thanks, Captain. Oh, it was a pleasure to be of service to you. you know, most of the time, we try to prove men guilty around here, but this time we've proven your uncle innocent. And it's great to be able to render that kind of help. Well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the circus. Don't forget to drop around and see our show, Captain, as my guest. Oh, thank you, sir. I'll do that. 
Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye. Goodbye, and goodbye to you, young man. So long. Well, I guess we're through with the police for a while now. Well, it's nice to get that over, all right. Mm. Come along, Jerry. Say, looks like we're in luck again. Here comes the cab. Taxi. To the uh, circus driver. Yes, sir. Well, we'll be getting back before the show is over. <sighs> well, Jerry, I guess you're pretty happy now, huh? I sure am. Now I've really got an uncle, and, and he's not a crook either. Mm, I told you it'd work out all right. It always does. The only thing to think about now is getting Dan Dugan well and out of the hospital. Oh, he'll come along all right. It may take him a while to adjust himself to his new personality, or rather, his old one, but he'll be as good as new in a short while. Yeah, but. He hasn't got any money and no place to go and no job or, or anything. What's he going to do? <laughs> I don't think we'll have to worry much about that, Jerry. I always did like Dugan, and although it looked pretty much like he was in on the payroll robbery, it was kind of hard for me to make myself believe it. He'll most likely go back into his old business of big game hunting. He was tops in that field. Well, until the time he feels he's ready to take up where he left off, I'll find a place for him in the circus. You will? Ah, oh, gee, Mr. Randall, that, that's your swell, and... I sure thank you for it. Uh, yes, sir. We're not going to let your uncle down. I'll do all I can to help him regain his foothold in life. Golly, I, I just don't know how to thank you, Mr. Randall. Oh, forget it, Jerry. I should be thanking you. Thanking me? For what? Well, for finding the piece of that gun handle. That's what really started to clear up this whole mess. You're a good little detective, Jerry. You sure keep your eyes and ears open. I like being a detective. It, it's fun. Fun finding things out, hmm, Jerry? Yeah, and clearing up mysteries. Uh, speaking of mysteries, Jerry, there's another mystery around the circus that needs clearing up. There is. What is it? Uh, have you met Clara yet? Clara? Uh. No, I, I don't think so. Who is she? She's a wardrobe lady. Takes care of all the costumes and does the sewing in her fair uniform. No, I, I haven't met her. Why? Well, I just happen to remember. She told me there's been several uh, spools of tinsel and uh, a box of spangles taken from her workbench. She's also noticed that someone has been going through her box of supplies at night. Gee, who could it be? Well, I don't know, Jerry. That's something for you to find out. And you go look her up tomorrow and get her to tell you all about it. Tell her that I have assigned you to the case. You bet I will, and, and I'll find out what it's all about, too. <laughs> Just watch and see. 